channel. My name is Ayana, and today's video is another super, super, super exciting video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I maintain and refresh my Permod sets, and I can make them last up to a month. So I'm going to be showing you guys a little trick to make sure your Permod sets look perfect every single day. So if you guys wanna see how I made my hair look like this, make sure to keep on watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And don't forget to turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you don't want to miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video. Leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, everyone. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to maintain and refresh your permod set. I wear this style 99% of the time. It is my go-to style and it is my favorite style. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to maintain it and keep it for long periods of time. So if you guys don't know what the pineapple method is, it is pretty much when you pull all your hair up into a high ponytail and then you put your bonnet or your satin scarf on top of that. I do not do that method with this style. The reason why I don't use the pineapple method with this style anymore is because I find that the pineapple method stretches out the back of your hair and then those curls in the back become straight. So your curls in the back are pretty much non-existent. So we don't want that. So I'm going to be telling you guys what I do. So instead what I do to make sure all of my hair stays curly and pretty for a long period of time is I will just wear my hair normally throughout the day, wear it down, and then at night, all I'll do is just put the bonnet on and I'll just tuck in all the hair. And I'll just leave it like that. In the morning, you'll literally look like a mushroom, <laughs> but it works. It is like the best thing ever. And the result of me doing that is what you guys just saw on the screen. As you guys could see, I was pulling apart my hair to show you how clumped it was and how my curls were still there, but they're just, you know, put together. So we're going to fix that. We're going to go through and separate everything and make sure that we have our volume and that our curls still look shiny and nice and healthy. So now that I've separated my hair, I'm going to separate it again into another part so I can really focus on each section and make sure each section gets the same amount of product. So we will be working from the back to the front. be using is the main choice the alpha growth oil and I recommend that you guys use a bit of a thicker oil especially because it is winter time it is dry outside and it is cold so you definitely need a product that will help you keep the moisture in your hair so this is the oil that I am using and it is amazing so as you guys can see, I took the oil, put it in my fingertips, and then I put it through my hair and focused a little bit on my ends especially. After I did that, I'm just going to be taking medium to small size sections and twisting those sections around my finger. And the point of this is to make sure that each section is separated and has the same amount of oil in it and just to make sure each section is just like absolutely perfect.
So our next step is to pick out our hair a little bit. You can skip this step if you would like. If you don't like your hair to be very fluffy, then you definitely don't have to pick because the more you pick, the less longevity your style will have because you're adding more frizz to your hair. So if you pick a lot, you're gonna have really, really frizzy hair and your curls will not be defined. So I just did a little bit of picking and now I'm just going to go through and feel where I feel like clumped curls. If the curls are really big, I will go through and like separate it a couple more times and yeah that is pretty much what I'm doing as you guys can tell my hair is a bit flat in this clip so what I'm going to be doing in the next clip is I'm going to be flipping my head over and just kind of shaking it out just to make sure that I still have my volume and as you guys can see there is an instant difference in my hair and that is it for this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more turn on my post notification bell like this video and follow my social medias thank you so much for watching it's so